Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I'm forced to be an electrician for your viewing pleasure because I'm locked in my own house. We're back out in Electrician Simulator. Now, it's been a while since I last played, but I'm super excited to get back into it and do some more weird jobs where I hopefully don't die. I feel like I'll definitely die here because I'm clearly helping out uh, a vampire. Um, So I'm either going to get bit or electrocuted. Sounds fine. Let's uh, accept that one, and we're going to need a screwdriver. Well, I'm already holding one of those, so we are good all right and here we are at vampire's house so um typical vampire she doesn't want any lights so i think we just got to disassemble all the lights uh -huh. <laughs> okay i i assumed it was a vampire now i have confirmed it is indeed a vampire you know what no joke that looks extremely cozy i'm kind of jealous i also love how i can just snoop around in this game but yeah, it won't actually let me uh, disassemble these without, I'm assuming, turning off the power. So that's no fun. All right. And now it's extra creepy. Do I have a flashlight? I probably didn't bring one of those. Okay, but all I got to do is simply remove lights, I think. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, one out of nine. So I got to find all the lights. What do I do with these? Just throw them? Oh, I hope I have enough inventory space. Okay, so they do stack. That's convenient. So very easy job so far. Do I got to take off all these lights, like specifically? Uh, advanced view. I can't advance view that, so I'm assuming we don't have to worry about the creepy lamp. Ah, uh, I do have a flashlight. Thank God. Okay. You know what? It kind of creeps me out that this door is locked. The only door that's locked in this place. If she's okay with showing me her coffin, I can only imagine what's behind the locked door. Probably her food. Uh, anyways, m making my way through here. I think it's all... Yes, it's just the top round things. Can I go in this one? Yes, and that's what I need. Oh, we got two in here. Never mind. These are not the ones they want. They only want them in the corridor. All right. And yeah, here is the final one. And then we get to break the switches, as it said. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming just disassemble them. So break I shall. Uh, we just got to do... Nope, nope. Come back. And goodbye. I guess we only technically need to do one because it already let me do it. So I'll just keep that attached. Oh my God, there's a child. It's coffin. How, how did I come in here and not notice that? I mean, clearly I did come in here because the door's open. <laughs> oh, there's two switches in the master bedroom. I was looking for this one for a while. There we go. So this should be the final one. And uh, there we go. At least we didn't get eaten. All right, let's just exit abruptly before they bite me. Uh, and yes, I would like to go back to the office. There we go. First job done. Not too bad. That was a very easy job. I love how I got paid $100 to take out nine bulbs. This game is great. I'm going to be a millionaire by the end of this. All right, this guy has some problems in his garage. Uh, his lighting has only turned red, as you can see by this uh, very nice photo. And uh, he also wants to connect his radio. So I'm assuming I got to install a plug. That or I literally just have to plug it in. He might be that dumb. I don't know. I also love how I can just steal things from all these jobs and keep them in my inventory. So I need uh, cables and a tube light for this job. I don't even know where I got half these other things, but I do know I got these nine balls from the other place. Burnt bulb. I should probably just throw that out. Yes, remove item. Perfect. <laughs> but I'll definitely keep these other things for jobs in the future. All right. Well, here we are in the darkness once again. I feel like we're going to be in the darkness a lot in a game like this. Oh, I thought it was like a warning. It's literally just a red light bulb. So first of all, oh, you're trying to hide the, the circuit panel from me. Are you serious? Yeah, we're just going to eat that. What the hell did I do with it? I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's not get electrocuted just yet. Wow, it is very dark. I feel like this could turn into a horror game very easily. You got some weird stuff on your ceiling too, but I'm, I'm not here to fix that. All right, so this should be a pretty easy job. We have a red bulb and he wants a white bulb. So install done that was so easy all right the radio on the other hand i don't think it's going to be as easy as that because you can see all the circuitry in the walls and there's nothing connected to this outlet so that tells me that we're going to have to not only plug this in uh but do our own circuitry going from something over to this maybe we should even separate it on a different fuse all right i'm just going to turn this on for a second just to figure out where the flow is going so that goes directly to that we don't want it connected to a switch so i think we're gonna have to actually just i don't even know if we can oh yeah it looks like we can lay cable right on this ah geez i'm so dumb oh my god i had it on god okay <laughs> i'm so glad i can't die in this game all right 
So now we can just lay cable for as long as we want. There is a way, place cable point. Yeah, so I actually do want to lay this right. So we're going to place cable point there, attach it to the roof. I'm really glad we don't have to, uh, you know, deal with drywall in this game because that would make this a really long job. Where is it? Right down here. Perfect. All right, all aboard the cable train. We're just going to wrap it around like that and done. Right outlet? What? What is that? Oh, God. What, 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 what am I doing? Is, isn't this it? Why the hell can I do that? Okay, I can do it. I don't know what this is about. I'm assuming you can separate the connection. I have no idea. Okay, I I didn't do it right. We might need to finish the loop. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Oh, the socket might actually be broken before I do anything else. Let's see if we can uh, inspect that and make sure that that's good. Oh yeah, that, that would be a problem. We don't have it connected. Okay. All right, so we'll connect up the wires in the correct way because I'm I'm really good at this. I totally didn't try like three times before I got it right. And hopefully that's all we need to do. That was pretty easy. All right, plug it in. And did I do it? Uh-huh. Turn on the radio. Yes! I did very basic wiring. That was... This is going to be a really easy job. I think we're going to get a lot done. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, yeah, this this door. That kind of sucks. I didn't get paid anything to turn on the radio. What the hell, man? <laughs> Still 140 bucks for that? That's insane. Well, we've done the most basic of jobs, so it's time to go back to school for installations. Uh, is this going to be the final one? It, it, oh, yeah. It's the final certificate. All right. We are an advanced electrician now. Let's go into VR and uh, learn how to do this. So we're learning about item placement. Um, okay, so we actually do get to install our own sockets. Again, I was worried we'd have to, like, deal with drywall, but it looks like it's as simple as snapping it into place. So this actually seems pretty basic. What is going- Oh, yeah, that's right, we're in VR. I forgot, like, why- <laughs> Why is there no textures outside? They don't need to be designed. All right, so ceiling light. Yep, that would be a ceiling light. How do I- Just put it in the inventory. Jeez, okay, so we'll just pick up a bunch of things and start throwing them on walls. It shouldn't be too hard. Circle things go in here. Now, there is a way to, like, actually measure. Okay, yeah, turn on measure. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's actually really freaking cool. So if you care about aligning these right, you can. How do I... S oh, yeah, you can snap the item, too. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I, do I don't need to know anything. Actually, I should probably read these. Electrical boxes are placed under a socket or a switch. Hold. Uh, left click on the electrical box and select the option to place item. Remember, all you need to have is that item in your inventory to install it. All right, so we're going to snap the ceiling. Why? What is good? Oh, at least spread them out a bit more. It bothers me that this is so unappealing for the whole room. I just have all the stuff over on one side. Uh, all right, that's good. That is good. So I think we probably want a socket there and a light switch here. I don't think it really matters. Um, what is this thing? What the hell is that? Oh, that's a circuit breaker for the fuse box. Okay, so we can install that wherever we want, I think. First of all, I got to take it off. And yes, then we can just place our own. All right, I'm understanding it. Now we should have wiring. Hopefully I get to keep some of this so I'm not going to be wasteful because I am cheap. So we're just going to connect that. And how, how do we want to do this? All right, so we're going to keep this nice and straight. Bring it down here like that. Connect to that, to this. Okay, I thought I could split directly off the cable. I don't think it's going to let me. So I got to uh, connect off of this. Not the best way to do this, but we got to go to the roof. Uh, I don't want... Well, do I... Yeah, I, w I would want the roof on a switch, though. So how the hell... So I'm going to... <laughs> I think I can do this. So we're going to go back around, connect to this, and then we can connect the lighting to that. No, and, and then... Okay, yeah, and then we can connect this. Okay, this is bad wiring, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> I screwed up right from the start, but we got the wiring connected to this... Or sorry, the lights connected to the switch. The plug separate, so we should be able to simply turn this on. Um, connect a ceiling lamp to the main power supply. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to set? Oh, I forgot. I always forget. I assume these things are automatically set up. This is probably my problem. I didn't uh, connect these to the wiring, obviously. I installed them on the wall. Of course, the wires are not automatically connected. I am so bad as an electrician. Jesus. All right. Oh, my God. I forgot it's on again. Jesus Christ. I am going to die in freaking VR training. Okay. Okay. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. All right. So this goes into that. Snippy snap. 
screw in. We have our lamp wiring that we installed. That goes into, well, the wiring at the top. Looks like we can connect two to that if we want to on a separate circuit, but I have it all on one circuit. I don't know what's better or not. No, in. So that's done. Uh, we're going to have to do this as well, or we're going to have an issue when we try and plug that in. Okay, and there we go. Uh, I think, hopefully, we should have everything connected. I feel like I did it okay. Yes, turn on all lamps. Are these even lamps right now? What the hell is going on? Well, let's just try and switch it. There, oh, yep. Okay, so those are on. Yep, and I guess I just need to plug this one in, and then it's happy. Plug it in! Do I have to, like, turn it on? What the hell? Yeah. No bulb in the lamp. Oh, my God! Are you serious? All right, so I installed the bulb. I think this is done. Yes! Oh, my God. I need to install bulbs on this, too. Wait, I can't even see them. They're ghosted. Did I do this wrong? What? Why, 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 are, why are these ghosts? I already put them up there. How, how do I see them? Oh, I have to... <laughs> so, to see them, I can't have the cable laying system enabled, I guess. All right. I thought I, like, broke the game for a while there. That's, that was a little confusing. I have to be honest. It was probably right in the tutorial, though. All right. So, now we got to screw it in. Holy crap. I did it. Well, let's not jinx it yet. First of all, turn it back on. Wait, did I? Hold on. Red is on. That's always confusing to me. Um, and then we just need to turn on that. And look at that. I can exit VR. Get me the hell out of here. Ah, uh, but look at it. We got our certificate of com com competition. Com completion? Why does it say competition? Well, I don't care because I leveled up. That was a lot of XP. That took me nine minutes. Wow, that's in kind of embarrassing but hey now i'm an official electrician i guess uh all right let's see what we can do now i'm hungry but i can't eat my toaster is broken i use it to make my favorite dish what dish you ask slightly warm bread you mean toast commonly known as toast or toasties who the hell calls them toasties i don't call them that for now from, from now on it was the world's best diet but since i can't have any toast it's now the world's worst diet i tried lasagna but my toaster quickly showed me how it feels about it wait what what the frig? What are you trying to toast lasagna? What are you are you baking the toaster or are you toasting lasagna? What is going on? Toasties be cold. Slices ain't toasty. Oh my god, I hate this. I I I, I would freaking quit. I am done with these idiots, but I have to see. Do I get to see the lasagna? Is there like lasagna on it? No, it's actually remarkably clean. Wow. Okay, he 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 must have cleaned it for me. This is a nice toaster. It even has the bagel function, as you can see. Whoa! <laughs> you can really zoom in here. All right, if there's not bread crumbs on this bottom plate, I'm going to say this game is not realistic because there should be. How do I... Okay, take off that. Can I take off the bottom, please? There we go. There is no bread crumbs. This thing is so freaking clean for a toaster. What the hell, man? All right, but now we get to see what an inside of a toaster looks like. Looks like I got Looks like I got to solder this. And I'm assuming that as well. And there we go. Now, these are all rusty. I would expect that at the bottom of a toaster. Okay, so I think I got all the screws in the plating done. Yes, and now I can take that off. We got a, Oh, we got a rusty bar here. Ah, yes. Let's just spray chemicals inside of a toaster that I'm assuming I'm not going to clean. That feels safe. And again, if the guy's trying to cook lasagna with a toaster, I don't think he's very safe to begin with. I need, I need more rust mover. God damn it. I need to buy... My can can empty? This game's too realistic. Okay. So now we have the heating elements. This is cool. I just like taking things apart in games like this. And that is done. Now we just got the circuitry. And voila. We are done. A lot of unknowns here. Great. All right. A lot of the unknowns are good. We're just going to quickly inspect... I seem to know immediately if it's good or not, so... Clearly, I have skills I don't know about, but we got heating elements that are broken. Inner case is good. Circuit board. That's the one we gotta actually... Whoa, why? <laughs> I love how far I can zoom in. Uh, but this is the one we actually gotta test. Alright, so we got a broken electrode top. Let's test everything. And we got a broken key socket. Keys socket, whatever that is. Oh, those are the buttons uh, for the bagel mode in ordinary mode, I'm thinking. All right, let's take those off because that is broken. And we replace that for $5. Perfect. And this guy is broken as well. Why can't I hit that one? There we go. How much does this piece cost? $3. That's not so bad. 
Crap, I didn't do it all. Hold on. We got condensers we got to do. Where is... There's too many things on this, man. Everything's good. What 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 do you want from me? Is there a bottom thing here? What is going on? All right, I have to hit tip. I don't... I don't know what's wrong. I can't even hit tip to find out. What else do you want? All right, I'm just, I'm just going to go back and hopefully it says good. No, it's still unknown. Am I going to have to replace the whole thing after doing all that? Because I am very confused at what the hell I am missing. You know what? I'm just going to assume it's fixed and I'll put it back together and, and hope for the best. So we got one more thing to inspect. Yes, a piece of plastic is totally fine. Shocking. So we're going to replace and replace. Maybe this game's so realistic that we don't know if the circuit board is fixed. I just accidentally replaced it. Damn it. I wanted to see if I actually fixed that circuit board, but it might be so realistic to the point where you have to reassemble it to see if you actually fixed it right or not. Anyways, we'll replace this. Everything's good now. So I kind of like that, though, that you could either repair it yourself or just buy a new piece if you're extra lazy. All right, and now we're back to reassembly. This is going to take a while, actually, because there's a lot more pieces in a toaster than I expected. Okay, and there we go. Was there a piece here? Oh, yeah, we need to do the knobs. How does the... It must click into place, because how do you connect the bottom? To, oh, I'm dumb. There's freaking screws down here. That's right. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. Test it. It better be good. That is a beautiful freaking toaster. All right, we'll send that item in and let's get paid another. Yep, 250 bucks for a toaster. Again, I don't know why these people are paying me, but hey, I'm not going to complain because those jobs are way easier than the jobs where I actually have to go to a destination. Regardless, I am, uh, well, $1,000 rich now. Not that that's really that impressive, but hey, you got to start somewhere. And if you're repairing toasters, $1,000 is a lot of money, it feels like. So yeah, we're going to wrap up this episode of Electrician Simulator here. I have passed all my tests. I am a master electrician now. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any more of this, because it looks like there is a lot more we can do. And I really like that they make these jobs a little interesting with the things like the vampires and whatnot. And yeah, there's actually a job right now where I have to assemble a whole home with all their uh, sockets and whatnot. So we might do that in the near future. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.